So we're going to make a custom fill. This is the earth fill that Archicad uses and uh, this is a custom fill that I've created for earth or terrain or dirt uh, myself and I'm going to make another one. This is based on five lines and I'm going to make one now based on four lines. What we need to do is understand what is a fill. It's, it's a pattern that's repetitive, it's repeated. We need to be able to repeat something that's in a box. Being on the 45 degree angle makes it hard to consider how do we make that. So we effectively don't. We make it not on a 45 and then we change it. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a, a line. I'm going to use 100 millimeters just to, to keep it really simple for now. The scale doesn't really matter. We can change it later as well. Now I need to make a box. So if I want to make it really easy, let's draw a, a box. We draw then another line. And right, delete that. And what we want to do is divide this into three. One, two, three. So once we're finished, we're actually left with four lines. Again, this one had five, this one has four, but it's basically the same thing. So once we've got these four lines, we then want to offset it. Now I made this 100. We could do this in a, a couple of different ways. So it's slightly um, irregular, and, and you'll see what happens when I try to do this. So it's 100 by 100 at the moment, and if I go move, drag a copy, and let's drag it hundred and twenty the space we've left with is smaller and now I'm going to mirror this on the 45 so again we can see that space is smaller so if we're happy with this that's that's fine we don't need to do much more I want to make I want to finish a box so I'm going to drag a copy of this one and move that up 20 and again grab this one And move that up 20 so now we've got our pattern so we see that there's a smaller gap where it changes direction if we don't like that we can change it but it's it's basically doing what I want it to do this is the start of our pattern so I can select this uh, there's one more thing that I should do before I, I do this and that's to add a hotspot so what's a hotspot it's just a dot uh, it's a dot that doesn't print or show up so we're going to use this to say that I want my box to start and to end up 20 millimeters past the ends of all of these. The only issue with having it on both sides is it's going to double the space. And so realistically, we want to move one side in. So in this case, let's move the bottom corner in. So this is aligned, this is aligned. This one's bigger, this one's bigger. So let's select this, copy. And we need to go into our fill tool. In our fill tool, we've got solid fills, vectorial fills, and symbol fills. If we select one of our symbol fills, then we can use this as the basis for a new one. Generally, what is best to do is to find one that's close to what we've already got. So I'm going to choose this one here that's called Earth. This one, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use this one just because it's got a better number. And I'm going to paste. So that will paste it in place. And we see that it changes the number. That doesn't really matter. We see it's automatically changed to the 45 degree angle because that's what I originally had it on. And the scale is just one to one. I can change that later if I want to. So that's changing the scale based on what it is. Uh, but let's leave it where it is for now. And I'll rename it. I should really have pressed Let's, um, yeah, new duplicate. 
but in this case I'll just rename it birth4 okay now we can go back into our fill tool Earth 4, change that to pen 1. Let's turn off the show arrow text. So there we've got it. So if I change this angle back to 45 degrees or back to 0, let's press Alt to go into the setting, Option, Element, Attributes, Fill Types. If I change that back to 0, we see it's going to look just like it does here. Uh, but that's not what we want Earth to look like. We want it to be on that angle. So there we go, we've got another new custom fill. So we can see just in comparison, this is one that I made previously with five, and now we've got one with four. So it's just a little bit less busy. Uh, but that's a, a good representation of uh, Earth. It looks a bit like checker plate as well. You might find that familiar.